Today I'm going to show you how to create a freeze frame intro. Something like this. Now let's get on with the video. everybody welcome back to a new video it's been a couple of weeks since my last tutorial and on this week's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you uh, freeze frame effects or well, more importantly uh, how to do a freeze frame intro as you've seen in a lot of movies and TV shows and even some YouTube videos they will usually have a shot where they freeze on frame and you would see some sort of graphics that are going by or you would see some text that are flying by you know, introducing you the, to the subject in your video. And today I'm going to show you how you could create that by using DaVinci Resolve. So let's get on to the computer and let's get right to it. Okay, uh, I already got a video on my timeline. Lovely model that is walking through the desert. If you're interested in following along with this tutorial, I'll leave a link to uh, the site where this video is available for you to download. I downloaded it from Pixiebay, which is a free stock footage website where you can download photos and videos. As long as you cite the video in your description or in your videos, you could use any of the content on there. Let's scroll through this, uh, let's start this clip and pick a shot where we're gonna create a snapshot. So we're going to freeze this frame. First, let's cut it by hitting the B button for the blade tool and just cut it here. And let's zoom in. And let's move over one frame by hitting the right arrow key and cut it right here. Let's go back to the beginning of the clip. Hit the A button to go back into uh, selection mode. Select the clip. Now we're going to freeze this clip by hitting Shift and R. Or you can right click on this clip and go to change clip speed. Check freeze frame and hit change, of course. Now we're going to go into trim mode and change the duration of this clip. If we don't go into trim mode, if we change the duration, it would overwrite the clip next to it. We don't want to do that. We just want to expand this clip. So we're going to press down shift and D to change the duration of this clip. And we're going to change it to four seconds. And enter. And now let's go back into selection mode. Zoom out a bit. Now if we play it through. You see it will freeze right here for a duration of four seconds. And then we'll continue on. So now we're going to select this clip and go into fusion. Right now that we're in Fusion, let's start off by introducing our model. Let's create some text. Let's add a merge node here. This all the way at the end. Some text. And add another one. And connect it to this. And let's give our model a name. Um, I'm going to go with Ginger. She looks like a Ginger. I don't know. But, um, anyway. <laughs> Let's uh, change the font also. Let's go with somewhat like a script font. Let's try the beach. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's use that. Put it over here. Oh, can't really see it. Let's make it a little bigger too. Point 
And let's uh, give it some shadowing. Go to shading over here. Just right about here. Select element free. Enable it. And now we could see it better. That up. Let's also do give it another text on the bottom. Um, let's call it YouTube. Let's, let's say this is introduction to Ginger's YouTube. And let's give it the same font. Go down the beach and give it pick a font bring it down and let's also give it a shadow as well not going to make free and shading enable it All right now let's give it some animation make it interesting uh, let's go in the beginning of the clip let's go to layout and give a keyframe on the positioning and I have this one coming this way and then let's go to frame 15 have it come back out and return to this position so and let's also do the same with ginger as well let's go to let's, uh, go to layout and let's add a keyframe on position then we go to the beginning of the clip and let's move this to the opposite direction like so Then when we come back here, there you go, they're both in the same position. And let's uh, give them some, some motion blur. Let's go settings, enable motion blur. And make it really pronounced. Go to setting on the other text as well, enable motion blur. Make it really pronounced. Now we look at it, they kind of pop in like so. We could also make it pop out the same way. Let's go here, go back to positioning or layout and give a keyframe over here. And then at the end of the clip, We have it go out this way then we do the same with the other one go layouts go back to now let's play it through And that's pretty good so far. Cut out our model and edit the background. All right, let's uh, cut out our model. Let's uh, copy this node. Paste it. Let's put this on the screen. And let's put a... Uh, effective mass on it let's put a polygon effective mass over it now you don't see anything but you're gonna invert it so you could see and let's um now bring our screen down let's make it big let's make it a single view or two so we could see more and now we're gonna start plotting points to cut her out manipulate the position by moving the anchors 
on each point. Now you don't have to be too precise, but uh, Now you could zoom in by hitting control, holding it in, and moving the mouse wheel to go in for a little tighter or tighter um, points. But try to keep most of the hair in. I mean, it won't be as perfect, but hopefully, being that it's such a short duration on the screen and being that it's so far away that you wouldn't notice it. All right, let's uh, have it full the screen. Push in. Go back to do modern mode. And let's invert it. See what we look, got. Oh, not too bad. That's uh, the here. It's kind of. Let's see if we could maybe soften the edge. Oh, not too much. No. Let's put it in. That's a pretty good cutout. Now we could actually, you know change the background this over here this here and merge want this to be the foreground this to be the background Now this looks like. All right, the softness is a little too much. Let's go back here and just cut down the softness a little. That's pretty good so far. Right, let's make it a little more interesting. Let's take the um, this background, make a, or this video in, make a merge node here. background put this on the screen change it to be light purple let's go down and lower the alpha gain like so and over here we're going to add another merge I take this uh video put it in front of it and then we're gonna go to the merge here and we're gonna bring down the alpha gain take this merge put it in front here doesn't look too bad let's uh, let it render out and check it up on the timeline All right we have the video uh, the effect render out on the timeline now we're going to put it into full screen shift F put it in full screen and play it through and 
There we go. It's just like that. Let's go back a little bit. I mean, the here could be a little bit better. I mean, it's really tough to try to get all that here out. I mean, over here we could move this spot up a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty much the deal with that. I mean, if you have any questions, you know, leave in a comment below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to click on the like button. And subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorial vlogs, fun and challenges. And click on the notification bell to get notified when I release new videos. I leave all my social media information here so you can follow me on those platforms. Have a great day. Stay safe. Uh, we are living in crazy times right now. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care everyone.